For editing photos, I really enjoy using Skylum's Luminar Neo. And today they just released an extension pack for their software that I think might help you save some of your blurry images. So let's take a look at it. Skylum's Luminar Neo is an AI-based editing software for photography. But you do have the flexibility in the editing software to edit photos just the way you want to, as you do in Lightroom, for example. But if you're in a hurry and you don't want to sit hours and hours and hours editing just one photo, the AI-based software in Luminar Neo helps you edit photos faster. But today we're not talking about the Luminar Neo program for itself, we're talking about the extension pack that you can get for this software that helps you save some of your blurry images. And the new extension pack for Luminar Neo that we're talking about today is called Super Sharp AI. And today we're going to take a look at one photo that I took of my daughter that it's a little bit blurry so I can't use it and see if the Super Sharp AI extension pack might help me save this image. So this is the photo that we are going to work on today. This is a photo I took when me and my three daughters were out walking a couple of days ago. And if we zoom into her eyes, you can see that these eyes are blurry. This could be because I had too low shutter speed on my camera when I took the photo. Could be because she was moving when I took the photo. And it could be because I was moving when I took the photo. No matter the reason, it is blurry. And let's try and see if the Super Sharp AI feature of the Luminar Neo software can help us sharpen up this image a tiny bit. So we have the photo and let's have our eyes in focus. On the right side of the Luminar Neo editing software, we have the Super Sharp AI tab. If we press this, you see we have different kind of settings depending on how we want to use this Super Sharp AI feature. Now, this is in Norwegian as I am from Norway, but I will try and translate. On the top here, we have what's called in Norwegian Bevegelse Uklarhet, which is motion blur. And this is definitely a motion blur image. We also have Fjern Focus, which is remove focus. And then we have Universal, which is universal. But let's try and use the Bevegelse Uklarhet or the motion blur on this image. On the bottom here, you see we have three different kind of levels depending on how much we want this Super Sharp AI to be. We have low, middle and high. But let's try the low one first and see how that works on this image. If we press this, we don't have to do anything else. The AI based software will do this for us. So let's try and press low and see what it did. And as you can see, it worked a little bit and then we have the result. And as you can see, it has sharpened up the image a tiny bit. But I do have to say that the one I'm using, it's a beta version. So if you decide to download this after watching this video, you will get the finished version and probably there will be some kind of updates later on that will make this a better feature. But before we zoom out again, let's just see how it did. Let's go back to how it was. This is how it was. And this is the way it is when we have turned the Super Sharp AI on. And if we zoom back, you can see that even though zoomed in, it looked kind of fake. Now it looks more natural. And if we once again see how it was, you definitely can see that this is blurry. But if we turn it back on, it has sharpened up the image. But let's try the other options also. So let's go back in and watch her eyes. Now let's try the middle level of this Super Sharp AI to see how that did. I don't know if I can see that much difference, but could be some difference. Let's try the low one and the high one again. I'm not sure. Now let's try the high one and see how that did. This definitely look more fake or that it is done something with it. Let's zoom back out. Zoomed out, it doesn't look too bad, but I would probably not do the highest level of this Super Sharp AI as it does look more fake than I really want it to. But if we try the middle one, I would probably go for the middle one or the lowest one when it comes to the motion blur feature. But the way we did this now, it turns the Super Sharp AI onto the whole image. 
On the right here, you have masking. You have the option to mask in whatever part of the image you want to use the Super Sharp AI on. So let's just try the brush tool and turn down the size of the brush. And let's just brush in her face and have the Super Sharp AI just be turned on to her face to see if there is any difference. Like that. Now we go back to adjustments and have motion blur and let's try the low one. Now it only affects her face. The Super Sharp AI, it's not being used on the rest of the image. It's only used on her face. If we zoom in on the image, you can see that it's only her face that's being affected by the Super Sharp AI. The hat being blurry here, it probably doesn't matter that much to me, but what's most important in an image of a person is that the face is in focus. So you can see that with the masking tool, you can choose to just mask in whatever you want the Super Sharp AI to affect. So you have more options to this feature if you want to use it. So I think the Super Sharp AI, it's a feature that I think could come really in handy if you have an image that you just wish was a tiny bit sharper. And if you do want to use Luminar Neo and try this for yourself, I will have a link down below in the description that you can use to download this program. Anyway, that's it for this video. I do hope you got something out of it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you haven't done that already. And maybe I will see you in another video. Bye.